basically. So, uh, it's a product that I'm super excited to finally bring to market. Uh, you know, this is our Radiant RX Vega 56 Nano from PowerPost. And you'll see this in, the, in select markets now. And this product specifically is a full size Radeon Vega 56, but in a small and sleek form factor. It comes with all the same standard features that we originally launched Vega, but now you have access to this in a small form factor that we've talked to you about over the past year. It's a super exciting product. It's a super exciting for gamers to be able to choose not only just the form factor they want, but they can even put it into things that I would like to show you next. So, in part of this next announcement, what I'd like to talk to you about is how you can drive a different monitor technology with a small form factor. So many of you might have seen recently that our partnership with Samsung and, and adopting FreeSync on widescreen TVs and high resolution TVs has come to fruition. So right now what you see up here on stage is the Samsung uh, 65 inch uh, TV. It's got 120 hertz and it's being run by this Vega Nano 56 uh, 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 graphics card here, and you'll see that it's strange for Dave. And uh, you know, the interesting part for me is now in my family living room, I can play Strange Brigade on my TV with FreeSync turned on. And as, well as you, a lot of you know, that in the living room environment on a big screen format, it actually is pretty tough to uh, play on a big screen TV without getting stubborn and tearing. So it's pretty exciting. Now, not only does it work with FreeSync technology in the, in the living room environment for Radiant graphics cards, but the other announcement that we're making is, oops, I'm just going to go back one. Sorry. Yep. The other announcement we're making is it would, um, that we made recently, but it's also being adopted by the Xbox One S and Xbox One X. So if you're a gamer like me and many millions of other gamers in the world who play both PC and they have a console, you can now do this in, the comfort, the, uh, in your living room. And you can have your PC in a really small form factor size next to your Xbox. And you can do what Gilbert here, here is doing, and you can just toggle back and forth. You can choose to play PC gaming, maybe you want to play Strange Brigade, and then you can choose to play Forza on your Xbox One and have that experience be buttery smooth and stutter free, tear free on your large screen monitor. So, for those gamers in the world that already own one of these monitors in the living room environment, this update is free. All you have to do is download the firmware. Make sure you apply it to your TV. There's 20, 20 monitors available in the world. Ranges between 55-inch TVs all the way up to 82-inch TVs. Download the firmware, firmware update. Suddenly, your Samsung TV becomes FreeSync capable. You can use Radeon to drive the games, or you can use your Xbox One X or Xbox One S to now play FreeSync type games in your living room environment. It's a pretty exciting time for gamers, and it's only something that we can do because there's no extra module required to go into the back of the monitor. It doesn't cost you a, a gamer tax to include this in there. This is free update for all those who already own the Samsung monitor. It's something that we're going to continue to innovate on over the next 12 months. And I would tell you now that we're working on more partnerships, so that way we can bring even more of this type of value to the gaming community and the gaming public. OK, so that's the Samsung QLED TV, 4K, 120 hertz. It's a beautiful monitor. Now you can do Radeon gaming in your living room. And if, not, if you already have an Xbox One S or Xbox One, One X, you just download the update, and you get all the free sync goodies right to your living room. OK, now lastly, um, to recap our, our show here is our partnerships with our OEMs have been fantastic. We'll continue to see great innovation on the Vega uh, GPU side. I would like to thank Acer for being up here on stage with me. Our innovations in GPUs doesn't stop there. We will continue to invest in software. We're going to continue to invest in our FreeSync and our monitor strategy because we believe that that matters greatly to gamers. And you'll see that over the next uh, few, few quarters that we'll continue to innovate with our game partnerships. So I look forward to talking to you all soon. And I thank you for your time today. Thank you very much.